All right, I could not wait any longer. I need to see how this finishes out with Act 2 of The Incorrect Summary of Ultra Kill by Maxwell. This video is uh, really normal, I swear. Already starting off with a lie, I see, Maxor. Okay. Bingo. Lust. All gone. With gluttony soon. Does that mean I don't have to be horny anymore? N Horny's gone? And finally, I can focus on things that matter. Just gotta figure out what those are. Follow. Your kind know nothing but hunger, purged all life on the upper layers, and yet they remain unsatiated. As to you, you've taken everything from me, machine, and now all that remains is perfect hatred. What? You hate me? Join the club, buddy. I started hating myself long before anybody else did. You're not special. What? Hey there, everyone. It's me, your favorite true uh, crime Was that Mr. Beast? Creator. Back at it again with a new crazy prank. I'm gonna keep this one brief since this video is a ultra kill. If you have Did he say he's gonna keep it brief? This is longer- 27 minutes. This is longer than the last one. Another lie, Maxor. Didn't take you for such a liar. Also, what is going on on the screen here? What? I haven't played it, that's great. Watch my videos. I think it's the best game ever made. You know, most games nowadays kind of look like... <gasps> it's so beautiful. I have to roll the gotcha. <laughs> Ultra Kill doesn't do that. Instead, we get fucking insane developers. I will say, graphics are great if the game is already really good. Graphics are like, uh, like toppings on an ice cream. It can elevate a delicious ice cream. But if the ice cream is already shit, I don't care what you put on shit, I'm not gonna enjoy it. So graphics are always second, or even third, to me. Gameplay and, and, and atmosphere, more important. Welcome to the game where blood is fuel, hell is full, and a fumo destroys the earth. It's uh, definitely an experience. Do you ever look up on the pyramids and think, that would be a crazy slide? Do you feel bad about missing out on the Titanic? Or oh, all the time. Or a simple man who wants to fish peacefully? If so, then uh, I guess this game counts. And uh, I'm going to spread misinformation about it. You know, I think there's a reason this takes place in hell, but I can't exactly put my finger on it. My goofy ass actually bought this like, yeah, I'm ready for some normal games. <laughs> Mankind is dead, blood is fuel, head is full, hell is full. How do I have a stroke reading that? I think I've lost brain cells watching Maxor's edits. They, they have permanently disabled me. Surprise. Bitch. Welcome back to Act 1. I'm starting Are this those review with time travel. Basically, I was browsing the internet a few seconds ago when I happened upon arcane information. You know, after I changed the wiki page. As it turns out, King Minos is not a rich man. I think it's a bad idea to spend your entire city budget on bisexual lighting. This uh. presents a problem for us because, uh... Well, I can't really ask him to pay. So if I can't charge his body, then goddammit, I'm going to charge his soul. Nobody escapes the wrath of the IRS. That is where this level comes in. Dude, fuck the IRS. Nah, nah, I'm, I'm only partially kidding. I knew we, we have to pay taxes, but god damn it, just let, just send me a fucking bill. Why do I have to be the one to calculate how much money I need to give you? And if I get it fucking wrong, I'm in trouble. Just, you know how much it is. Send me the goddamn bill. If I've got a problem with it, I'll send it back with a complaint. Don't make me do extra work, please. In, or rather, all of them. This door represents every level, Pete. and if you don't complete them perfectly, then it doesn't open. Trust me, I tried to do clip and was cast into the void. That means no mistakes, no time, no checkpoints. We're using the video game alphabet, and because every copy of this game is personalized, we've got a lot of levels to beat. I'm sure this is exactly what Hikita wanted. Duh. Okay, how does everything get into Gmod? Why, why is there everything in Gmod? How do they get things from every other game and put it into that one? I know, well, game, the, the thing. How do they do that? Huh? Huh? 
It was me, Barry. I'm the one who posted the Moai emoji. This school has this cool speedrun strat called up. So, better watch out, Genshin players. I'm not surprised he made that joke. I thought it would be obvious. Please, anything but this. It's making my synapses look like a rave. I'm going to abbreviate Cyberpunk. Biggest mistake of my life. Rake the leaves up, Samurai. Huh? How many times do we have to teach you this lesson? Lesson, old man! What is happening? No shit, it's this guy again. I'm going to send you back to God. Hey, can you make change for this? Shut up. <gasps> this was not worth it, I say to my Bitcoin assassin. So the next level starts, and it's in Japan. There's this secret boss named Hatsune Miku. Oh my god, Hatsune Miku, when she's doing the I like shopping, I like shopping, and then someone runs into her, and then her, her fucking onion goes flying, and then gives her, like, some money to it. It's like, oh, but I spent more on that. Or I spent less on that, so I made a net profit. I don't... If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Then we open her up like a can of sardine. No, actually, it's a spinal staircase. They call it the Spine Vine. What on God's greater- Screams in Geometry! Is- I forget the name of the angel from Evangelion. But Screams in Geometry, that's what it is. This is that. This music's time signature is fucked. Welcome to HP Minecraft. The fucker's using creative mode. This boss is here to teach your limbs how to file restraining orders. And to do that, he's got a lot of shit to dodge. I like to call it Toho's Bizarre Adventure. Now, his attacks might not seem that bad until you have to dodge all of them at once. I don't know what those things are doing, but uh, ah. it's worse. So on top of summoning 9 billion eyeballs, the fucker uses them to heal. Oh my god, he's ah. fucking doing it. No. I uh, hope you're a good shot, because I'm certainly not. To beat this boss, we need to target the healthcare system. Just like Ronald Reagan, preferably using heavy ordinance. This guy's looking like a looking like a square. I really wasn't expecting. Mm, is a prism a square? Is that a square or is that a different type of shape? Is that a square on its side? Geometry majors, tell me down the description. <laughs> down the comments down below. We need to fight the Kaaba today. Oh my fucking god, I'm speed running a migraine. I almost forgot that I was in hell. Flesh is not supposed to be hard unless I'm reading a certain sum. Is this fucking? Hang on. We should just legalize sex in America. Wait, it's illegal? I wouldn't be in jail anyways. I want to have sex with Maxor. Okay. Oh my god, sex with a YouTuber? Oh no. Is that... Is that a dojin? That's... That seems like that's porn. ...into this game for the good story. So his attacks are plentiful, but thankfully we can overcome this boss by using a cool new... I'm just realizing there's probably a lot of porn of Genshin, isn't there? There's probably a lot of porn of Genshin out there. I'm not reacting to that. Secret called trial and error. Tell your friends about it. And although this basic geometry could be a little hard, our journey has definitely prepped us. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be introducing his skull to the concept of a circle. He didn't take it very well. <gasps> excuse me, what the fuck? The golden onion ring. Ah. Free at last. Hey, I'm here for the uh, outstanding balance. I spent all of it on perks. Huh? What? My blood is a controlled substance in 39 states. <laughs> Excuse me? I have personally killed 12 trillion people. That doesn't sound very fun. Oh. I don't even think 12 trillion people have lived on this goddamn planet. Like, ever. Like, all of the people that have died, I don't think that... I don't think it's that much. On the fucking contrary. Credit cards my hey guys, Maxor here. Back from the secret government beef fights. I was trying to drink the airport jungle juice. And today, uh, we're going to be uh, fighting the only boss entirely accessible in Gary's Mod. This was a deliberate choice by the publishers to include DLC. Isn't nature just domestic? Minos Prime is not an easy boss. You're going to be quite familiar with all of his attacks, because he will not stop screaming them. Moves such as Judgment, Die, Thy End is Now, I Will Have Order. These attacks will bookend your- that was Geo Daddy. Will do it really fucking fast. And yes, that is why the video looks bad. 
This game is no longer a first-person shooter. It's Meladia, Blade of Michelin. You know how to play a first-person shoot? Uh, maybe. <laughs> Time to learn. This ah. is the first boss ever designed to be fought in your peripheral vision. What is I happening? I was at Grandpa's funeral and he started beating the shit out of the toaster. What is- P-ranking the game was not a test. Huh? There was a warning. So if I were to give advice, it would be to listen. This little shit is hard, and you're going to die a little bit. However, there isn't a single move that you can't counter. Not to mention he announces them quite loudly. Jesus huh? Christ. So- what is happening? <laughs> is this all in one fight or all those multiple takes? I'm assuming those are multiple fights. How do you... How do you play this game without having an epilepsy? What is the, what is the game? What is him? I can't tell. That's when... That's, the, that's how good this editing is. I can't tell what's... But obviously the memes are him. And the cuts are him. But like how much of the game is just batshit insane? If I... If I how, how elevated is my heart rate going to be if I was to play such a game? Will I have a heart attack? I think I'm having one now. <laughs> if he seems difficult, that is a skill issue. One that makes your camera look like it's in the washing machine. Ultimately, Minos is a noble soul, and he's going to give you a noble death. What you do in between is up to you. But if there was a crime I was willing to forgive, it would definitely be public embezzlement. In fact, it isn't a crime at all. It's an obligation. So, how's about I uh, help him with his investments? Dude, I fucking love investing. You put all of your money into the S&P 500. Do it. Just fucking do it. Don't you buy Bitcoin. Don't you day trade. Just put it in the goddamn ETF for S&P 500. They'll thank me. That's not financial advice. Murder is an obligation too. Forgive me, my people. For I have failed you. Creature of steel. You have shown me the error of my ways. What, really? Huh? <laughs> Of course not. You can prime my prescription for my cold, dead hands, bitch. I'll Just take his blood. His blood's a controlled substance in, what, 39 states? Boom. Instant drugs. And it's gonna taste like pennies. Why does blood taste like pennies? Or do pennies taste like blood? Hmm. Well, that was normal. Almost as normal as his, uh, entertainment. And all it took was, uh, a few tries. Hey, teen ain't bad. Was that Big Ben? Hey, guys, welcome back to... How long Egypt. is this? We're here to find fucking Dio. This ah. level represents a great increase in heat, since apparently the sun exists. This is news to me. We're here with the Stardust Crusaders to uncover the secret past of the Bass Pro Shop's pyramid. And one of those secrets looks- well, Okay, wait, why does Bass Pro Shop make a fucking pyramid? They sell hunting equipment. And southern stuff. I mean, it's cool, but why a fucking pyramid? Are they trying to be seen from goddamn space? Why am I just now realizing that's weird? It's kind of a... Uh, what is it doing? Looks kind of bright. I want to introduce you to my favorite enemy, the Light of Allah. Your location is irrelevant, and so is theirs. No matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, it will find you, and it will give you Discord light theme. Oh my god, it's a sex offender summoning circle. Do not t tell Twitter. <laughs> Hang on a second. Do not I think tell this is Twitter. Holy shit it is. <gasps> this is the best game ever made. Wait a minute, how do you flip a coin? You're using both hands. Oh, please tell me he pulls out a third arm. Please tell me it's just like, oh yeah, we, we like the game developers, like we could have probably coded an animation to where he puts away one gun and flips the coin. Uh, but we thought it would be funnier if we didn't do that. Please. I fucking love Coinstar. I can't tell. <laughs> I cannot tell. I'm going to teach you motherfuckers a Smith and Lesson. This is just like my favorite movie, Bible Shrek. Ramses, let my people in. That's a good fucking movie. That is a good fucking movie. Oh my god. That's a DreamWorks one, right? Oh, I love this. It's so, it's so well animated. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Watch it if you haven't, even if you're not, even if you're not religious or anything like that. It's just a good fucking movie. In. No, 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 it can't be. The British are real. The ah! wants you to make a bridge, so just, uh, do a slam storage long jump. If you do it wrong, you'll ascend to heaven. Oh. Wait, so what happens if I pick up two of them? Oh, I'm yes! Not like that. Nobody helps me do the dishes in this fucking house. Yes! What happens if I get another one, then? Yeah. Oh my Jesus Christ, god. I, I can't hear anything. So Fun is more important than things that make sense. They could have made it so it doesn't do anything.
They could have just done, done like, oh, your, your, your damage goes up. Nah, they're just like, fucking give them another arm. Fun better than making sense in games. Always. Rule of cool applies. We finish playing the Squidward mode and instead move on to more enriching activities such as... <laughs> A hurricane cycle. Fuck, I need that to sleep. This boss just has what a rock the? and apparently a flexible schedule. This rust server fucking sucks. His main attacks are jumping and beating you with a rock. You know, like a monkey. Me when I see an <laughs> alien online, I am a canist. So this fight is weird, but don't worry. He doesn't have to stay there. You might be able to run away temporarily. Uh. So, uh, jump height scales with distance. <laughs> oh god, he's coming. My brother oh. in Christ, this is the spawn. Jesus, that's the actual noise it's making. Oh God, what is happening? Sitting in the elevator. Yeah, this seems pretty huh? horrible to me. Uh. I think he's gone. Oh, oh no. Are you what? Uh. So yeah, it's a pretty cool boss, I guess. I love playing five evenings of free dress. Guys, Max, we're here, and in this video, we're going to be to the Denver airport. They uh, didn't turn on the lights. Wait, the Denver airport, that's the one that has the weird demonic blue horse, right? That everyone likes to think is a weird satanic ritual. Or it's like a secret underground bunker underneath it in case of a nuclear apocalypse to hold the president. Yeah, I know my fucking conspiracies. So this is the dark level. You can tell because of the gameplay. This seems a little familiar. I am fucking lost. These encounters are very spooky because you literally don't know what's in the room with you. It could be anything. It could be anyone. Yeah. Hey guys, Mr. Beast here, and today I've hidden $40,000 inside your skin. The first one to tear it off wins. My oh favorite my. moment is when we enter Ramsey's nuclear reactor. I love huh? playing inside the seizure room. It's the best. Heading backwards. Did you know that Bochi's voice actress can make that noise all on her own? There was no editing involved in making that, apparently. When we Let me listen to it again. Ramsey's Go again. Nuclear reactor. I love playing inside the seizure room. It's the best. Yeah, that. Heading backwards into the adrenochrome harvesting. How do you we do that? We come upon something that chilled me to the bone. The crypt of dead YouTubers. We've got Vine Sauce, Markiplier, other people, and one... Oh, that, like, wait, they actually just put in YouTubers? Why do I always feel like that's cringe to do? Like, if they back it, or if, they, if, if your game became popular because of them, in like an update or something, sure. If it's not for that, I always feel like it's cringe. It's weird. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Now, if you want to put me in a video game, though, I won't object. One day, my channel will join them. It's six feet under. Who the fuck is knocking on my tomb? Do you know what time it is? It's damn magical. God fucking damn it, I was about to say that. I was literally about to hit pause and be like, oh, it's Mandalore. Fuck. He beat me to it. I'm predictable. I'm too predictable. God fucking damn it. I literally just watched one of his newest videos come out. Hey, if anybody would like me to watch and react to one of those videos, let me know in the comments down below. I'm not sure if that would be a good one, but let me know. That's right. This isn't a cameo. Mandalore is yet to answer my emails. The devs <gasps> put a YouTuber in the game as a boss, and they gave him a total of two attacks. Full auto and fuller auto. Only real Mandalore heads will get this one. But despite all of that, this is actually very fun. It feels as janky as it sounds, and I'm all for it. Plus, Wait, it's is that, harder than like- Is it actually Mandalore? Or meant to be? Oh god, they coded the game that way. This is just the best shit ever made. Huh? So, uh, welcome everyone to Tennessee. We've got t-shirts, men's apparel, the general hunting, hunt camping, marine center, bass pro shops. That's my way of saying we're in a pyramid. It's just, uh, something feels a little bit off about this place. Oh, well, I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Hello, brother. No, fuck. Oh, God. I you have something of mine. Something very important. Can you please speak like a normal person? <laughs> I was about to Stand up comedy. Oh, he's gonna do- is he gonna do the trade meme? Is he going to do the trade meme? This for a trade. I beat you into a fucking pulp. Will you give me my arm back? Mm. Honestly, that sounds like a fair deal. I, but I'm not a big fan of pulp. I like no pulp. This one will cost you an arm and a leg, brother! Oh my god, he's literally me. We're so much alike. Welcome to the most psychotic shit in a video game. I've said it before and will say again. This fight is not made for humans. You know, like my videos. We're supposed to be killing each other with rocks. I quit using meth for good. Now I use it for evil. This fight is very similar <laughs> to last time, except much worse. Now he moves as fast as me, if I was good at the game. But thankfully, I am not. This shit- Please tell me that he now shoots his own coins. Like, like, V2 will shoot your coins and you can shoot his. 
I, I mentioned that in the last video, and I think someone said that I might be right. Please. This is like speed running carpal tunnel. What's the matter, brother? Uh, Does your arm hurt? Because I can fix that! It is a challenge to look in V2's direction, let alone shoot him. But thankfully, for those of us who can't aim, there is a solution. Oh, you motherfucker! That's ha! Right. If you aren't fast enough, he shoots your coins for you. Yes! And what's worse, he can toss them too. Meaning, half the battle is a slap fight with me. Oh my god, just shooting shooter, money. Not a fucking constellation. This shit is like a cartoon battle in a dust cloud. And if that wasn't fast enough for you, don't worry. You can enrage V2 at any time uh. by punching him with his own arm. You Yes! But he loves it when you do that. Ultimately, V2 can be easy or he could be hard. Easy in that he's limited by your moveset, but hard in that he's only limited by your moveset. We've learned so much during our journey, and unfortunately, so has he. But we have grown in the one way that V2 never could. Emotionally. So, how's about we teach him how to cope with failure the old-fashioned oh. way? I will give you the pleasure of killing me! You get back here right this fucking instant. <laughs> he fucking left! He left the fucking arena. <laughs> he fucking disconnected his control. He disconnected the game. The oh, sh he's like a Dark Souls person who gets invaded. It's like, oh shit, I got invaded. <laughs> Presses the power button on their PS3. I'm getting Deadpool vibes. V2 feels like Deadpool now. Oh. Is he okay? <laughs> Probably not. I think he's dead. Deed. You thought I would skip this, didn't you? No, I was- Nope, I did not think that, because I don't know where the fuck we are. Merely waiting for nighttime. You know, like Skyrim? I'm a big fan of the horror <laughs> gameplay. Come here, buddy. Huh? There he is. Make sure to walk your dog every day. Now I'm free to do what? all kinds of things, like gazing upon the false sun, climb the Eiffel Tower. This is the texture. Huh? And, um, trapping my dog in hell. His sins are yet to be forgiven. I think it's best if we just leave There's just a it. random hole. Never God fucking damn it, it's Crash Bandicoot. I suck at Crash Bandicoot. I, I'm, having fla I'm having flashbacks to when I played it as a kid. I couldn't beat the first one. I, I never... Mm, that fucking Bandicoot. Mind, this is not good. Hey guys, welcome to my new and original game. I'm finding it. I'm, I'm finding it. An <laughs> adjustment. I mean, what do you want me to say? It's literally just Hash Brown Coot. The Wrath of God is pretty new though. They even have my favorite character, Bad Depth Perception. Gee, I wonder what this section's gonna be like. Oh, God, oh funny fuck off. Again. Stop posting about the rock. I'm tired of seeing it. In the future, all humor will be randomly generated. So yeah, this. Ah, uh -huh, uh -huh. nice, nice Veggie Tales reference, Max. Or I fucking, I saw that shit when I was a kid. Also, go check out the VeggieTales Twitter account if you want to see something really funny. Part is actually really good. I haven't played something like this since Uncharted 4. Hey guys, it's me, Nathan Drake, and um, Subway. I think it's best if we just kind of, you know, move on. The Did you know that Subway's tuna cannot be truly classified as fish? I think their bread also can't be classified as bread. Now, I'm saying this, but I actually enjoy Subway. So, you know, I guess I just don't like fish or bread. So, uh, you know, do with that information as you will, and enjoy your subway footlongs that are not even, one, like, one foot long. They're, like, nine or ten inches. Simulation is beginning the to scam! Guys, Max or here, back at it again in the Why is he an anime? Minds. The children love it, it's just like Minecraft. So you guys remember V2, right? I know it's been a long time. Well, he really gave us a hand. Again, this is the grappling hook, and it's really good at bypassing the entire Every game goes up one letter grade when you add a grappling hook. That's just true. It's just inherently true. If you took away the grappling hook, if it was an A rank game, it's now a B. But with that grappling hook, it now goes up a letter grade. It's just good. It's good fun. Game. It's also quite simple. You either catch the fish or the fish catches you. It can lead to some odd results. So we head through the halls of the Jiangxi Copper Company. At ah. which point, I accidentally fell into the weaker disposal shaft. Oh. So, uh, welcome to the Ooh. water level. And by water, I mean fucking moon gravity. I really like how all the audio sounds like it's in the other room. In this mission, we need to locate the bodies by navigating. Okay, I have to say something. The, 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 the sound effect for underwater like that makes sense. I hate when they fucking do that in games when they're in space. Like, oh, we're going out into space, and now everything sounds like you're underwater. That, that's, not how that, that, that's not how it works in space. There's no sound in space. Why would it just sound muffled? You're in space. It's not being distorted because it's compressed within a bunch of matter like water. It's in space. There's nothing. There's no fucking sound. 
investigating a series Sorry. of infamous cave disasters, all with gameplay indistinguishable from a flight simulator. You know, as far as water levels go, this is not horrible. It's just a little bit quiet. I don't like having to hear my own thoughts. Zoomers when I take away their TikTok during grandma's funeral. <gasps> also of note in this level is the new Chris Kyle enemy, but unfortunately that makes you the Afghani child. Ah! Take your time, fellas. JFK isn't going anywhere. Oh my fucking god. This is actually how they die. SCP, huh? this one. Ah. Where to go? I think it's uh, time to leave. Don't touch any what? So, uh, welcome but, to the huh? next level. Where to go? Wait, I what? I think it's uh, time to leave. Don't touch What the f- How? Is that real? Did he put that in there? Don't touch any what? So, uh, welcome to the next level. Florida in two years. The entire landscape is a highway to Disney World. So, much like the real Florida, this level design is on crack. The space is a little limited, just like the real Miami. It kind of feels like I'm fighting homeless men on stilts. We enter a completely normal cabin where there is an invincible enemy. Was that the Unabomber? I know, I know my references. I'm like, oh yeah, Unabomber in a, in a wooden cabin in the woods? Guess that's a Unabomber right there. I actually don't know what he looks like. Because he is an empath, we need to destroy his psychic link to progress. Trust me guys, you don't want to face God on the astral plane. As an empath myself, I can sense when enemies die. Also integral to this level is up. Uh... Huh? <gasps> oh no. Ah! Resurrecting the Titanic. Jack was sent to hell for his immorality. Normally, of course, you would board the ship so that this guy can kill you for not having a ticket. But if you take a second to explore, you might just find it... A hamp... That a ham... That's a fucking hamster. Hamster. Now stick it up your butt. <laughs> what? This was just the beginning. Next Stick it up your butt! Flying backwards across the map. Man, this game's movement is wacko. Naturally, of course, the next step is a sheer cliff face. And with enough explosive ordnance, we can finally reach the... Fool huh? Demon. And it just so happens that we have the perfect sacrifice. No! Oh no. Thank you. Now I shall lay waste to this world. Uh, uh, okay. Oh. What have I done? This is all in the game, right? This isn't like, oh, these are mods. This is just the fucking base game. The base game is on crack and on mods, right? It crashes the game. I Holy think shit. I think a good time to mention that uh, this game is official bump on the board. It vibrates in response to damage. What did he, what did he just, what did he just fucking say? Now is a good time to mention that uh, this game is official. Yes, this, okay, that's the official Twitter account, I assume. Yes, the sex update. To quote, quote, double quotes within it. It's finally here. UK Butt is an official mod that adds buttplug.io support. What? What? Official butt plug. Holy fucking shit. Wait, isn't a butt plug what that one guy used to like cheat? In, in chess, didn't he use a butt plug to like get information or like strategies from someone outside while doing that? Like Morse code? Stimulating his prostate? Surprised he didn't come? What? What? It vibrates in response to damage. Machine, the developers put out a patch on your prostate now. <laughs> <laughs> so we decide to board the oh no, stepbrother, not while. my prostate. This is off the guy with the comically large spoon. The same guy that you can pay to skip the boss fight. I'll give you three quarters to fuck off. Hmm? As we can see, King Bach has presented a rather large spoon to his friend. Oh this my. Like if Garman wanted ice cream, but you told him that he could only have a spoon for oh no, but seriously, God. this boss is very simple. When you can actually see him, it's pretty much just a matter of dodging his. Oh, it's the fairy man. That makes sense why you can literally just pay him. Because you have to give, what, like two doubloons or something you put on the eyes of the deceased and then they pay their way into the afterlife. Is that, is that Egyptian? Or is that Greek? I can't remember. But that's a thing, I know that. So that makes sense. Aw, nice reference. Very patient attacks. It's a real shame he's a member of the Ku Klux Klan. <laughs> So after four seconds of very adverse weather, I finally decide to kill a man the only way I know how. The fucking spaghettification. New. What the fuck? Oh my god, that's how he dies. <laughs> okay, bye. Team Rocket is blasting off again. Hey guys, welcome back to the Costa Concordia. I swear to god that isn't foreshadowing. The Maybe I should react to that next. 
I've been seeing it. I've been seeing people mention it. Maybe I should watch, uh, isn't that an internet historian video? The, the incontinence constantordia? <laughs> Something with a boat? Our ship is making great headway straight down. Jesus Christ, not the shit again, dude. Uh, attention passengers, if you look to your right, you'll oh. see the um, fucking oh, kaiju. Fuck. <laughs> fucking hate the ocean. I fucking hate the ocean. I fucking hate the ocean. I'll go to the beach. I don't want to go out into the open waters. I'm fine on a boat. I don't want to get into the water in the middle of the goddamn ocean. I don't like the idea of there being infinite nothingness below me and who knows what's down there. I'm Orcas fucking terrify me. Have you seen pictures of those things? I know. Oh, no humans have ever been killed by an orca as far as we know. Maybe they're just really good at covering it up. Hmm? They're fucking terrifying. They're fucking evil. There might be some turbulence. Oh my god, I can't believe it. They added a Scooby-Doo level to the game. <laughs> the sweet life on deck really went downhill after season two. So this is the wacky level. You can tell because my screen looks like cloud vomit. Genuinely, uh, what is happening? This gameplay looks like how Coke smells. Well, thank god that's out of the way. Looks like it's gonna be, uh... Wait, does he mean Coke? Like, the soda, or, or coke the drug? Or both? Smooth sailing from here. I mean, just take a look at the skeleton. Huh? I bet nothing gets under his skin. What a nice helmsman this man is. Although sometimes I wonder who's steering the ship. Ah! Why did I tilt? Hey guys, Max are here, coming at you live from Bikini Bottom. We've been up, trapped inside the world's biggest washing machine. Mr. Mosby has had enough of my bullshit. He's turned my entire world would you like M or FOOM? Fuck, I love that show. The, the, the Sweet Life, not Sweet Life on Deck. I never really watched uh, when they went onto the, the water. I think it was downhill from there. God damn, I love Sweet Life, Zach and Cody. Upside down. But here's the thing. We are just playing this level in Mussolini it's mode. It's a fucking rock. In reverse. It's complete with all your favorites from two minutes ago. Only this time we have to stop Andrew Ryan from making another water park. Hey, Jack, would you kindly test out this golf club for me? Ooh. Um, that's what? not a good sign. Huh? So, uh, wh We're in fucking Soma now. Oof. I hate the ocean. Why are we underwater? Welcome back to the water level. On today's episode, visiting Spongebob. This really <laughs> is the rock bottom experience. You know, it's not the trip I asked for, but, um... Uh, it's about no. to get a lot more fucking eventful. After all this time, I've finally made it. No, 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 no. Why's it gotta be a fucking ocean creature? Why? Sea World, Ohio. Mm, no. Hurry up and kill it. Welcome to Please. the Bass Pro Shop's final boss. The Shamu hasn't been the same since he tried crack. Top 10 episodes of River Monsters. Number three will surprise you. Honey, would you still love me if I was a worm? I bet you're wondering right about now. How does the game balance such a massive fight? Well, it does not. <laughs> there are two different ways to play this boss, and one of them is the wrong way. For instance, you could stay on the platform, dodge his attacks, shoot at him like the government shot Kennedy, and yeah, <laughs> that would probably kill him. Especially <laughs> if it was a headshot. Now, I'm not saying anything. I'm pretty sure when uh, George Bush, not the, not the George W. Bush, his father, that other one, head of the FBI, I think at the time, or was it the CIA? One of the two. Uh, when asked where he was, um, you know, on the day of, you know, the assassination of JFK, said he didn't remember, I'm pretty sure. It's like, oh, I don't know. I don't recall. Really? You don't remember where you were while you and your, you know, group of people were supposed to be uh, protecting the president, hmm? Yeah, that seems right. That seems normal. Or you can do whatever this shit is. Make sure to walk your dog every day. So, uh, this works precisely how it looks. That is to say, like a really good time. Doesn't this gameplay look fun to you? I can't tell what's on, happening. The is now optional. And no, there is no cooldown. The only limit is how hard you can ball. Now, if you're anything like me, you're probably asking yourself, how do I ride this? But not only is this a possibility, it is an optimality. How else am I going to shoot the screaming child? <laughs> Just, uh, don't spend too long or you'll be sent to space. Honestly, uh, best boss of the whole game. When I can see him, bastard change my- Oh, he's like Spider-Man! Why did I make a comparison like that before? Why hasn't he made a comparison like that yet? Oh, dude, I'm so fucking excited for the new Spider-Man game. This completely unrelated to this, but the trailer just dropped, or like the newest gameplay from State of Play came out. I'm so fucking excited. I want to play that game right the fuck now. I love Spider-Man. He's my fucking favorite superhero. My zip code. Is this way to play balanced? No. Is it comprehensible? Absolutely not. I'm kind of just figuring is it things fun? out as I go. But it is definitely very, very fun. And usually That's all that, that matters. All now, if you don't mind, I'm going to go fishing the fun way. 
the fun way, you could cat, you could, what was it called? Cat, uh, a, a worming or whatever. Put your fucking hand into the water. You start wiggling your finger, then a catfish fucking tries to eat your entire, entire upper forearm. And you pull your hand out, and now boom, we got a catfish. Or take a gun, shoot it into the pond. Or dynamite. Not that I've ever done any of that before. But I am from the south. So, you know, make your own conclusions. I don't think that was the fun way. Hey there, welcome back to, uh, Red. We've got varied environments. We've got scaried environments. We've got enough dick measuring. Now it's time for the durability test. At this point, the game is absolutely done with- What about the taste test? The enemy count could be described as generous, especially when their attacks take up a half the room. It's less a difficulty spike and more like a difficulty spear. It really doesn't help that the music uh, sounds like an evil air conditioner. <gasps> We're back oh. in hell, baby! I forgot this game takes place in hell. This Fuck, he God fucking said the goddamn same thing as he did. Shit looks like I color corrected it. Ultra Kill can have a little hell as a treat. So we make our way through the spaghetti sauce dimension, a twisted arena that will test every skill in your arsenal. But if you're anything like me, then uh, that isn't many of them. I think hell is having to explain my resume. Hello there. Tell me about yourself. What are your weaknesses? Does your house have any weaknesses? <laughs> my weaknesses are uh, cute girls and my DMs right now. Machine, uh -uh. I know you're here. So do I. I can smell the insolent stench of your blood-stained hands. Okay, that's weird. I await you down below. Come to me. Like oh no. Oh no. YouTubers. And so far away from a preschool. <laughs> not, nope, not gonna comment on that. Oh my god, this is exactly what Akita wanted. Welcome to the, uh, so we enter, uh, this shit is the- Okay, so we're trapped in the Mr. Beast Goon Cave. Avoiding damage here is going to be a task. This fight is as horrifying as it was last time, and that's only made worse when you add the other previous bosses. I Ugh. feel like I did something huh? to make them mad. What? The fuckers stole my retinas, can't have shit in heresy. Ultimately, this is a great way to show just how far we've come as a player, both in damage <gasps> and in movement. And trust me, this requires a lot of movement. Isn't that right, Ghost Akita? I knew I could always count on- Okay, I don't get the reference. I don't know what that is. I know it's an anime- an anime person? No, no, cheats enabled! Cheats enabled! I can't believe Maxor has been cheating. Wow. First he lies in the video, now he enables cheats. Disgusting. <laughs> I call this one the six foot descent. Aren't you fucking dramatic? The audacity of this man. Although, speaking of cheats, I've always wondered when people do like video essays or video gameplay where like they make a scripted you know, scenario with an entire game from beginning to end. It's like, what if you need, like, a specific, you know, piece of gameplay that's really hard to get to? Like, can I just... Do they just enable cheats to get there? Because I wouldn't blame them. That's what I would want to do. It's like, oh, I just enable cheats, go to that level, get the footage I need, and then fucking book it. Just seems easier. Is this not enough? It's never enough. How much more... Oh. Your kind devour. Oh. You are talking to a camera. Do you think this is funny? Yes. Do you think it's like a joke? Yes. Because I'm not laughing. Go mm. and see. That was like a skill Lina, issue. And it's not making me want to kill you less. Now, peek this sick organ so long. Uh, okay. It's nice. Can you imagine how annoying it would be to have wings like that? How the fuck do you get through a door? How do you put on a coat? How do you put on a shirt? Feathers. Everywhere. Do you lie down on them? I feel like that would hurt. Do I have to sleep on my stomach the entire time? Hmm? That just seems, it just seems so inconvenient. Machine, I will cut you down. Break you apart. Splay the gore of your profane form across the stars. I will grind you down until the very sparks cry for mercy. My hands shall relish. Ending you here and now. Hmm. That's the best you got. He sounds mad. More like the prostate of hate. Am I right? Get it? Cause you could put a you could put a you can put a fucking vibrator up your butt so it reacts to damage. <laughs>
I'm a creative genius. Welcome to the most spastic shit ever made. A man went to Bible camp for adults. Ecclesiastes 21:46. Peter, uh, the horse is here. Oh no! Last encounter, Gabriel required a lot of patience to beat. Now he requires an act of God. This fight is patience, but faster. That means faster movement, faster attacks, faster commutes to the hospital, and I can't afford healthcare. Gone are the days of having attack windows. We're skipping straight to God. Find that broken me machine, and he won't read me Bible stories tonight. No. This shit has more hits than I have dodges, and distance is not going to save you. We need to think about this boss really hard, because this fight is not getting easier. Basically, Gabriel has two different modes. Funny mode and racist mode. Racist <laughs> mode is the default, just like American police. We need to be- Saw that coming. Saw that coming. I thought I was gonna say, oh, so they're the same thing. Oh, <laughs> get it, because racism is funny. It's not. Unless it's a comedy. <laughs> the bigotry out of him by carefully convincing the blood to leave his body. The free speech wins again. So after sufficient logical debate is held between two intelligent parties, <gasps> Gabriel decides oh, no. that enough is enough and turns on the light. Oh, no. Now I can see all my mistakes in perfect detail. This is the funny mode because Gabriel finds it out. <laughs> what are you using? I, however, do not. Every attack, every toss, every bullshit sends my camera into a different hemisphere. And if you aren't ready for it, that's okay because he is definitely ready for you. In POV, you ask for the time in London. Needless to say, <laughs> this fight is wacky, but also really easy. Not for lack of trying though but rather happening. because what of the what is happening what is happening has given us and also the uh, the horrifying places that we have been i'm looking at you stash trade route look what i'm trying to say is v2 makes every game easier huh what what i think i think my brain's melting haha <laughs> <laughs> comedy gold This my blood. I think I broke him. No machine. I've never felt so alive. You're making this weird again. These feelings. I, I need some time. Did we fight or have sex? Uh. <laughs> I miss her, bros. Gabriel. <laughs> What you do now is treason. We represent the will of God. <laughs> A lot of people have said that throughout history. None of them good people usually. No, just saying. I've had a long time to think about that, Counselor. And now I realize everything that I had faith in is a lie. <gasps> you let your faith be shaken by a camera. Face it, brother. God is dead. <gasps> the fire is long gone. If you kill me, Gabriel, you'll be dead within hours. I know. <laughs> well, he won't be in the next one. <laughs> <laughs> What? That was it? That- what? Hmm? That was it? That's how it ends? Huh? There's not more? Wait, well, huh? Is, is that the end of the game? Or is just- is, is he gonna make a third one? Or is that the end of the game? I'm fucking Schmeckeldorf right now. I'm- I'm gobsmacked. Okay, well, um... If you have any uh, recommendations, feel free to leave them down in the comments down below. I also have a Twitch in the description, and I'll see you next time.